the duck blind. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the duck blind on like a hat, and it renders you invisible to all ducks. Hmm. Earthy, with a bit of a woody aftertaste. The Grappling Granny. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Spy Rust Buster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The spy ear. That sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. A spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The Spy Pearl Detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great! There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. I already have four gadgets. I'll have to put one back if I want a different one. The Sticky Stun Bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel-coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. Hmm, earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste.
The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than freshen breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark spy mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, Quack! These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The canned laughter. How does this gadget work, Quack? Just pop the top and toss. The sound of laughter will be everywhere. It could be very distracting. I guess you could say it creates a laugh riot, eh, Quack? Yes, I guess you could say that. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. It's the gate to Poodles Galore's Cosmetics Factory, and it's locked. That looks like a keycard device. Through the use of deductive reasoning, I bet I'll need a keycard to get through that gate. The lights are off, so they must be closed. Maybe they'll be open later. Did you know that a crude form of bowling can be traced all the way back to 3200 BC in Egypt? My, aren't you a fountain of trivia? I should only wear bowling shirts when I'm in the actual bowling area. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a proper bowling shirt. How uncivilized. I'll get right to it. There's something fishy going on here and it's not my deodorant. That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. That's a pretty keen bowling shirt you have on. Do not bother, Ace or Champ. They must stay mentally prepared to bowl. I'll save this spy gadget for later. Tell me again about the spy bolt. Now this is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. Hey gang, let's bowl. Who do you think you're gonna bowl with? Your shirt is the wrong color, and you don't even have a name on your patch. The nerve. I think it's best to only wear bowling shirts when I'm in a bowling alley.
I'd like to exchange this bowling shirt for that other one. It complements my skin tone better. It's a bowling shirt. I don't think it's made to complement anything. Have a nice day. Thank you. I can use this machine to make a name patch. Oh! I need to insert a bowling shirt into the machine before I can make a name patch. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy! That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the name anytime I want. I'd better take that bowling shirt with me. 